Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Food Review, just for you and just for you. I am in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, at a fat bastard burrito company to try out one of their huge burritos. I had an awesome subscriber uh, tweet me out and said, hey Ken, you should do the tequila lime chicken at Fat Bastard Burrito. And then Fat Bastard Burrito saw the tweet and said, yeah, we love Ken Domic's videos. We'd love for him to come down and check it out. So I would like to thank that awesome subscriber for putting us together, because the owner, Chris, said, come on down, I'll treat you to lunch, and we'll show you how good our burritos are. So the Fat Bastard Burritos are right behind me. I just love saying the word, Fat Bastard Burrito. That's fun. So I'm just gonna jump in there, grab my huge burrito. They have small, medium, large, and huge. And of course we're going huge or going home. That's what the slogan is. Eat big or go home. So I'm gonna go in and grab it. I'll be right back. Hang on. Woo, I am back ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, I ordered the huge and I had them weigh it. It's two pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Two pounds of burrito. And I also bought, uh, they sell Coke here but it's not just normal Coke, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coke from uh, Mexico, and it's made with real sugar. So I cannot wait to try this. But we wanna get into, and he also, he also gave me some ghost peppers, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what's gonna happen in the next couple days or weeks, maybe? Ghost pepper challenge. Nice. Okay, let's go over the quick price list. Okay, so I got the huge tequila chicken lime chicken and uh, so the coke because it's imported and stuff it's two dollars and 49 cents the huge two pound burrito was eleven dollars and 49 cents came to a total of 1580 so let me know in the comments below if that's a good price for a two pound burrito here we go oh my gosh we got the tin foil happening and I also put pepper on uh, they have a hot sauce they make it themselves the guacamole is free hello free guacamole if you want more guacamole than the, what they put on which was plenty it's an extra dollar which is, I think, uh, some of the places have that kind of thing. Some of them just charge you for guacamole. And they get their uh, avocados fresh and make it themselves. They don't use paste. And all their ingredients were fresh. All cut up, all made right in store. So I'm happy about that. Oh my gosh, people! Oh! What the hell am I going to eat? Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. You guys check it out. Scratch, sniff. Wow. I think I'm gonna be full. Oh my goodness. I put a lot of stuff on this, guys. I put on a little bit of refried beans. As you know, I don't like a lot of refried beans on my burrito. Uh, I put rice, a uh, hot sauce, uh, uh, onion, uh, green onions, Oh my gosh, I put so much stuff on it, I can't remember what I put on, but everything on here is awesome. I put cilantro, uh, everything. Everything's on this thing. I'll see if I can, I'll look up on their website, all the things that they, they put in, and I'll put the list right here. Check it out. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First bite of a fat bastard burrito. <laughs> I love saying it. Uh, two pound burrito, huge. That's huge, all right. Ooh la la. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Mm. That is rocking. Super crunchy on the outside. The owner was telling me too that they'll they will cook it on all four sides. If you ask them, it just takes a little bit longer. So if you're patient and you want it cooked on all four sides, they'll do it for you. That's awesome. I'm gonna take another to another bite for all you one in the clock in the morning people who love burritos. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. 
I found some cilantro and that really kicks it up a notch, cilantro. Way to go whoever discovered cilantro and said, hey, let's put that on a burrito because that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Let's open that up a bit. I can really taste the tequila, the tequila lime chicken now. And they and there's, I dropped it on my Hawaiian shirt. Nobody will notice. I dropped it, uh, I dropped it. He said there are two kinds of chicken. There's like the straight up chicken and then there's one that's like a, I guess it's like a deep fried, not deep fried chicken. Um, it's just another kind of chicken. <laughs> it tastes awesome. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm going to have to do another bite just because I know you guys are going to lose it. Uh, it's starving and I just want to make you really, really jealous. Mm. Holy cow. I guess you call it fried chicken. My brain's all scrambled because it tastes so good. Okay, I want to try first time ever in front of you and in front of you a Mexican Coke. Now what he said was the difference was the Coke that you get up here in, in North America or in Canada anyways in the States is it, it's made with sucrose or whatever sweetener they are. This is made with real sugar. So let's see if we can taste the difference. Uh, I'm not sure if it, this is going to mess with this. It tastes good. I, I should have got a regular Coke just to try it, but it, I can taste the difference. Well, mm. Coke is such a good thing to drink with a burrito. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to finish off this two pound burrito just for you and just for you. And we'll be right back to rate it. Hang on. Devoured one pound, one pound to go. Slowing down. Ladies and gentlemen, two points for Ken. So there you go, guys. That was a huge tequila lime burrito, two pounds. I couldn't, I almost couldn't finish it, but I did it for you. And I did it for you too. I didn't want to make, want to make sure you weren't left out of that. So on my rating scale, guys, I am going to rate the, I would not suggest getting the huge. It is huge. Ooh la la. You don't want to do the huge. Drop it down to a regular or a large, but the tequila lime chicken, fried chicken was a go out and get it now, ladies and gentlemen. That was absolutely a fantastic burrito. I, my mouth is on fire right now, but not, not hospital on fire, you know what I'm saying? And the Coke, I suggest you give it a shot once in your life. If you haven't tried a Mexican Coke, come down to Fat Bastard Burrito, buy a Coke, say you had it, and then go back to a regular Coke if you don't want to spend the 250 for it. There's something about drinking Coke out of a glass bottle over plastic or a can. Do you agree? Leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, guys, so there you go. There was That was Fat Bastard Burrito, tequila, lime, chicken, deep fried chicken, burrito, just for you and just for you. Thanks for watching KBD Productions TV. Ken, Dominic, out. Garbro, Ontario, because that's where I live. Oh, drops it. Rips the bag, drops it. What an idiot. I've damaged my burrito. Not on the Hawaiian shirt.
jerk. I got it in. I got it in. I got it in. I got it in the bag. In the bed, 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 bag. Ghost pepper challenge. Anyone? Anyone up for the ghost pepper challenge? Oh my god, I'm talking like Jerry Seinfeld. What am I gonna do? All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.